What's up, everybody? I was dropping off my kids off at school this morning, actually. And when I drop them off, I have to drop my daughter off on one side of the building because they enter through a separate entrance. And then I drive around to drop my son off on another side of the building. Well, after I dropped my daughter off, I drove a little bit further, getting ready to go around for my son. And there were two young ladies kind of walking across the uh, path there. And they were two very, looked like they may have been twins. Um, and they were very short. And so when my son sees them, he screams out the window, hey, and he says the name of one of my daughter's friends who has a very short stature and stature. And I said, no, bud, that's not her. Um, I know that they're short, but they're, that's not her. And so he, because of her height and what he had experienced with uh, Jada's friend, he decided or thought or had a misperception that that was her. You know, oftentimes in our walk with God, we have that same misperception because of things that we have experienced. We look at the season that we may be in right now and say, this is bad. This is not good for me. This is an obstacle. This is in my way. God did not send this. But when God looks at that situation, God says, it looks bad, but I could work it out for your good. You know, that's what Joseph said in the book of Genesis when he, when all that he had gone through with his brothers, when he sees them again, he says, what you did, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. And so that's my encouragement to you. You may be going through one of those seasons where you are questioning, what is this and why? I want you to be able to see if you can take God's perspective. And say, God, help me to see what you see. Let me get the right perspective in this. God, how can you use this for my good? It looks like an obstacle. It looks like it's in the way. But you can use this to make me better. To get me to another place. And to make me who you've called me to be. So be encouraged. Because he can work it out for your good. I'm Frank. And this is Frankly Speaking.